here before our beer break also happens to be Donna's partner, making them our first her husband and wife team here at Pachakacha. C. Kenneth Waters is a candidate chair in logic and philosophy of science at the University of Calgary. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage C. Kenneth Waters. Actually, Donna and I got married by accident. <laughs> It turned out when we moved to Canada, uh, there's something here uh, called common law marriage, and uh, we were married as soon as we crossed the border. Uh, well, I'm not a, oh, yep. uh, I'm not a photographer, but I'm partnered with one, and uh, I'm here to talk about what it's like to be partnered with a, with a photographer. You probably understand from seeing Donna's presentation, it can be terrifying. It can also. <laughs> Uh, be very good though, because uh, you get lots of nice photos for your professional website. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to talk about uh, tonight is the, it, what it's like to be on the other side of an artist's camera, what it's like to have one's uh, life revealed. Uh, but my story uh, isn't going to um, uh, begin with the um, with her project uh, in our kitchen. Instead, it's going to begin with the project she started when we were dating. And um, she was working with a Minneapolis magazine to do a cover story. And the cover story was, uh, well, uh, it was on the strip club industry in <laughs> Minneapolis. And the editor thought that the article and Donna's photographs ought to be about the lives of the dancers outside the clubs. Uh, Donna had a different idea. She wanted to photograph inside the clot and uh, to take the photographs uh, unobserved. And it turned out that uh, I had uh, two roles. One role was to help her as she figured out how to um, take photographs without uh, being noticed. And uh, she got online, she found out how to do it, and she tested it out in front of me. And it, it turns out that if you sneak a camera in here with a lens and you look at people, uh, they, they don't really notice that they're being photographed. And so I can remember in the living room uh, that I had this jacket on, a jacket on and I was doing this and that uh, to help her figure out how to do it. Uh, the other, oh, I see, I'm, I'm getting behind. Uh, I was thinking about what those men felt like when they saw that their photographs were being exhibited at art exhibits in Minneapolis. And uh, I got to learn in our next project, which was in our kitchen, what it felt like. And this is my daughter, uh, Hillary, and she's very expressive about what it feels like uh, to be photographed. Uh, I felt uh, represented, sometimes misrepresented, and uh, often revealed. And. Uh, this is a case where I felt represented. I'm the dad, I'm bringing uh, the kids uh, uh, food, I'm uh, serving them, um, helping them learn how to go out in the world and present themselves. Uh, but there were also times uh, that I felt uh, misrepresented, and uh, there's one of those times coming up. Uh, it, 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 it's, here it is. This, this is not me. I'm the supportive dad. <laughs> and uh, it, it turns out there are stages of feeling misrepresented. And then eventually you come to the realization that you're being revealed, uh, not uh, uh, misrepresented. Uh, here, I'm signing a document from uh, my daughter Chelsea's high school. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it wasn't good. <laughs> She was a teenager and she was really standing up to me when this was happening. And I didn't know that, you know, what she was feeling until I saw Donna reveal in a photograph and saw her in the background. Um, uh, that was uh, quite surprising. Uh, here, um, uh, in friendly discussion with her date, who's coming out. <laughs> Seeing my children represented uh, was really wonderful. Here's a picture of my daughter, uh, Chelsea, when she's not getting in trouble at school. And um, here, you know, she looks wonderful. And this is a photograph that, you know, I imagine a lot of people have 
uh, photographs of uh, their children that represent them in a beautiful way. This is another photograph of viewing uh, my children. Chelsea sitting over on, on the left. And you know, I must say, as a teenager, uh, it, it can be really rough. And they're just things you don't want uh, to see that you pretend not to uh, notice. But uh, Don, as a photographer, uh, is uh, revealing these things. Uh, here, you've seen this picture. When, when I saw this photograph, what I realized was that our daughter, uh, Laura, who's the youngest, was looked upon, looked up to uh, by her friends. And Laura and our family was the youngest, so she was always the one who was looking up to the five older siblings. And here I got to see something different, see Laura in a different light. It sort of opened my eyes. Uh, here uh, I got to see that in our house, Laura and her friends were being influenced by Chelsea and her friends. And there are some photographs taken of this night that you're not going to see because we're outside a children's library. Uh, but uh, I saw this and it really worried me, uh, especially since some of uh, Laura's friends' parents were friends of mine about how we were influencing them. Uh, here, when you know, I saw this, every time I see this, even when I see this now, I feel so close to my daughter, Chelsea. It just uh, it didn't reveal anything new to me, but it, it just brings out that uh, strong feeling. Uh, here is a photograph with my parents, and you know I knew that we passed things along from one generation to another, but I, I, this was just so literal. It was uh, just to see it revealed in this particular way. Um, but as I say, I'm not a photographer, I'm a philosopher, and here I am doing my serious work. Uh, this is in another project at Donna's on the nest, and it was of empty nesters in the spaces their last child left behind. And, um, you know, I must say, I look ridiculous. And I had no idea until that photograph was taken. Uh, here I'm in Basel, Switzerland. I'm presenting my philosophical work to doctoral students and postdoctoral fellows from uh, throughout Europe. And uh, here, I think, rather than look serious, I, uh, I, I mean, uh, ridiculous, I think I look serious, which I was. And the theme of this evening um, is transparency. And uh, quote, how opaque the journal, uh, excuse me, how opaque the journey determines what passes from one place to the next and shapes what the viewer sees on the other side. And uh, my life with an artist reveals some parts of my life, uh, but few viewers uh, get to see that you did tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you.